Good morning everybody, welcome back to a new vlog. I am just in the process of getting ready, as you can probably tell by the clips. FYI, someone asked the other day, <clears throat> my voice is going funny, this is the first time I've spoken since like 6.30 this morning. Do you bear with me? These clips, someone asked about them, they are there for the volume. Your girl, she needs volume. And I'm definitely having a bit of a rough hair day today. I actually haven't done my hair for like three days now, so <laughs> it's been used to doing its own thing, you know? This blush, by the way, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Blush, shade 50, Ecstasy, is that what it's called? I can't remember the exact name. Something like that, something begin beginning with an E. It is stunning. It's got like a little bit of like luminosity and glow to it. It's also this really beautiful color that's like very sun-kissed and summery and it's just beautiful. And I'm trying to use it to give me some cheekbones today. I want that juicy, plump looking skin, you know? Final step, a little bit of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is the Cactus Water one. I have been loving this, like, it's sounding sad. You need to clean the nozzle because it keeps like spraying off in a different direction. I mean, it's very embarrassing. Definitely almost just sprayed some of that in my mouth. Lovely. I just think when you spray your skin with this, it just looks a hundred times better. I'm slightly addicted to it. Anyway, hello, welcome back. Today's vlog is gonna be a little bit of a hybrid what I've been buying, what I'm wearing this week, but also just something a little bit fun. So backstory, I have been talking to my friend Carla, who some of you will know from past vlogs, for I would say a good four years now. I first posed this idea to her in 2018. It got scrapped because I just didn't feel like the lay of the land on YouTube was right. It was just one of those videos that I didn't feel would take off. I didn't feel like there was enough public interest in this topic at the time. And I would do blog posts about what I'd learned from her, but I didn't really do anything on YouTube. And now, there is definitely interest I have found in personal styling services and that was what I wanted to do years ago, like Alana's video where she was like, I hired a personal stylist for an hour. I was like, oh my God, that is the content, that is it. And I so enjoyed watching it and I was like, Carla, it is time. My vision was I've always wanted her to style me for a week. A what I wore in a week led by her. And I thought this was also perfect timing, not just in the sense of this kind of video starting to do the round but also since doing nails and kind of having a split role should we say I have changed massively I'm gonna put it out there I've changed so much in terms of who I am personally but also style wise there was a complete shift especially when I took a step back and had a month off I just found when I was getting ready to do nail appointments that I just wanted to throw on something quickly I didn't want to think too much about my outfit I didn't really want it to be like fashion I just wanted it to be something that I felt good and looked good in and almost just started ignoring trends and just dressing my body shape in ways that I felt really worked for me and it's completely changed my life like I don't have a what do I wear moment anymore unless it's like a very specific occasion and I'm actually like genuinely what should I wear to this but on a daily basis like this morning woke up threw on this blue shirt threw on my new jeans these are Holland Cooper jeans by the way I am obsessed they are my third pair I have them now in the white. Love them. Love them so much. Added the Bottega slides and I was just good to go. And I feel so nice in this. I feel so comfy. We can take these out now. I've had enough of being, feeling silly. The volume. I do look a bit like, what's that film? Is it Harry, When Harry Met Sally? One with Cameron Diaz in it. Honestly, I haven't actually watched it. I just know that scene and I don't have any context for why that hair is that way so that could be embarrassing for me but it's been nice because it hasn't really been like a massive switch for the most part like I was still working with everything that was already in my wardrobe I haven't gone out and bought a whole new wardrobe for this style switch it's just been like a very nice natural progression but I did think it would be super fun just to see what she would recommend but also to get some ideas uh, because basically I do have quite a full wardrobe so most of the things that personal stylists might pull as like recommendations to buy I probably already have and that was almost exactly what happened I think I've bought like five things which I wanted to show you and then I've got a couple of other bits to show you as well just because we will we're gonna have a little bit of a hybrid everything vlog today so she has pulled some outfits for me and I'm gonna talk you through them throughout the week and wear them and kind of like bring you guys along and 
do like a kind of real time try on with you. I haven't tried on any of the outfits she's suggested yet, so I'm really excited for that. But I'm really looking forward to wearing some pieces that I've had in my wardrobe and actually not really been getting the wear of in some new ways. There were so many things she suggested where I was like, oh, I have actually never worn this like that. Or, oh, I've been wearing this item like this, but you've suggested it like this. Ooh. And the best bit is most of the outfits as well. I can interchange accessories and use the same base of an outfit, but to completely switch up the overall vibe of the look and I love that so if you're looking for that very classic cool Rosie Huntington Whiteley model of duty kind of styling honestly she can do a range but she has absolutely smashed this and that was kind of the brief that I gave her and I gave her a run through of like all of the accessories and things that I have that I would like to style so I am super excited to get started with this but anyway I feel like I've talked forever this is a very long intro so I'm gonna get started with what I bought from Zara so I have a couple of bits that Carla suggested and then I actually went rogue and picked up a couple of other bits as well which I do slightly regret just wasn't necessary you know honestly I I was so excited when she told me to order this. I was like, yes, this is the vibe at the moment. I actually hadn't seen this on Zara and I had actually been really wanting to wear something like this, but hadn't actually taken the plunge and just hadn't spotted anything that like quality wise was what I was looking for. But this is actually like perfect. Um, she's got such a good eye when she's shopping on Zara. Like I would say better I, I'm pretty good, but she's better than me. This is just such a good find. It is gorgeous. And you will have seen this already because I actually, I couldn't wait for this video um, to try this one on, to be fair. I, I actually completely forgot about that when I was talking to you guys before. I couldn't not take it to the south of France. And she also told me to pick up these linen trousers as well, which I have taken up myself and may have done a slightly interesting interesting job at that, but I really like these. They just have quite a thick waistband along the top and it's elasticated at the back, so they are just the perfect fit whether you've eaten, whether you haven't eaten, and I live for that. I will pop a little photo of what that looks like. I'll probably rewear this later this week, so you will see it coming up. I'll pop a little spoiler in if you haven't seen that on my Instagram. The South of France pics on Instagram were a slay. I can't even lie. I'm very, very happy with them. I also went a little bit rogue and this was a rogue purchase that I did not regret. I picked up a white waistcoat as well and I don't think that was in uh, the PDF she sent me. I'll try and insert little clips of that as I show you each outfit each day. So I picked up those three items and then I also picked up, this was, this was a bad decision. I have since tried it on and I think I've missed the return state on it. So maybe I'll try and make it work. I just didn't really feel like it it gave what I wanted it to give. You guys can let me know what you think. Oh, and I also picked up this. This is a spoiler actually for my upcoming holiday. I thought this was really cute. I just love, especially with like my more simple style at the moment, I love really cool jewellery. Just like any any jewellery, but I love really playing about with the jewellery. I think it can completely switch up an outfit and yeah, I'm leaning much more into that at the moment. Like I think in the past couple of months I've bought more jewellery than I have bought clothes. Outfit number one, which is what I'm going to wear this afternoon because it is humid AF. Like it's overcast, but it is so so warm like i am kind of sweating right now it's it's a lot thank god this shirt is cotton because otherwise i'd i'd actually be not okay i'm going out for a little coffee and outfit number one has a really gorgeous like slinky little cami top and i actually didn't have a cami top like this it's paired with a pair of black shorts which you guys will know i love my lily silk shorts and then it was paired with a really simple pair of black sandals and i actually had had my eye on a pair of black sandals from ASOS. So I kind of went a bit rogue with this and I went ahead and ordered the really simple black sandals that I'd seen on ASOS. So I'm hoping those are good. But I think this would also look so lovely with my Chanel slingbacks as well. So I'm gonna show you both options. I think each of them is quite a different vibe. Like I would probably wear the Chanel slingbacks for like meetings. And then if I was going like on a little holiday and I wanted to wear something monochrome, then I would wear the sandals. So it just kind of depends on what I'm doing, but it's just such a lovely base for an outfit. So I'm really excited to try this on. It's actually off John Lewis, but it's mango. So a really nice little find. Let's have a look at the sandals. 
down there. The sandals are really ugly. They're like a lot more rubbery than they looked. I'll try it on. I'll try them on. You can tell me what you think. I'm just gonna buy the shoes that she originally put on the mood board. And everything that she put on the mood board as well, if you like any of the looks and want to steal, I will pop all of the links in the info box for you. You can have your own little personal styling session by her too. And then the last thing I bought, so this is literally all that I bought from, she created so many outfits for me and these are the only things that I really was like, I really need that. Everything else I was like, I have something really similar, have something really similar, that's cool. So for me, I found it's actually been a really great little exercise in terms of like, creating new outfits out of stuff that I already own. This was a bit of a bougie purchase, but the version of this that is currently in my wardrobe is about six years old from ASOS. It's really, really cheap looking and it really doesn't add anything to an outfit. So when she suggested having like a cute black and gold belt, um, the Bottega one she linked was so gorgeous, love it, but it's literally sold out everywhere now. I didn't move fast enough when I was sent the links, but I decided to get this one instead because it's a little bit smaller around the waist and because I don't have a very long torso, I actually find that a thinner belt does work quite well with my proportions. But yes, a gorgeous little gold knot belt from Bottega. I'll try and find some dupes for this as well if I can. But yeah, just a really lovely classic. I've said before, like designer belts are really not normally my jam. I don't like a logo or anything like that. Like the original Bottega one that she linked was perfect. After the Gucci belt that I bought, the one that everyone had, I'm kind of scarred by that. And then I got a YSL one and I never wore it because I don't like to have like brand, 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 brand all over me. If I, like I'll do shoes and bag if I want to, but like I don't like belt if I'm doing bag and shoes, it's just like too much. Then I also got a Balenciaga one and we all know why that's very annoying so i don't wear that one anymore i think did i sell it i can't remember if i sold it or if i've donated it to charity i can't remember i don't have it anymore and i will not be wearing it so this is perfect can't wait to wear that later this week let's get my cute little cami outfit on and get this what i wore this week started also, I'm really sorry that I haven't posted the other what I wore in a week that I filmed, but I just, I watched it all back and I just really didn't actually like it. And if I don't like a video, I'm just, I'm not putting it out if I don't enjoy it, because if I don't enjoy it, then are you guys actually going to enjoy it? So I'm going to stop chatting. Let's go. Outfit number one of this what I wore in a week, aka my last ditch attempt at loving shorts, because I struggle with shorts so much. I think because I don't have particularly long legs, I just always feel a bit weird in them, but this is, this this is the last ditch attempt at it and hopefully Carla has succeeded. I, I do think this is a really cute little look. I love the way the black trim, I know I need to steam this by the way, but just bear with me. I love the way the black trim on the top ties in so nicely with the shorts. The shoes I've popped on the sandals, but we're also gonna try uh, my Chanel slingbacks just so we can decide together. And she did give me the option of silver accessories with this look, which I did really, really like. But seeing as it had gold jewelry on today and my sunglasses that I wanna wear have a little gold bit on them, I decided to just switch it out. But I think if I were to make this like a day to night look, the silver would be really, really lovely. I also love those earrings and I was just gonna wear my silver big like drop Bottega-esque earrings, but I am so tempted to buy those cute little silver heart earrings. Let me know, do you think I need them? And for a layer of warmth, I have just got this Zara, I think it's Zara cardigan thrown over my shoulders and I could wear it as a cardigan over this as well if I wanted to, or I could turn it back to front and have it as a jumper. I've seen a lot of people do that, which is really cute as well. And then for my bag, I'm going for my YSL tote um, as per the kind of inspo image picture. Um, and if I were to wear the silver earrings, I'd probably just turn the tote inside, inside out, round the other side, you know what I mean? So that the gold wasn't clashing with like silver accessories. Let's also see what the slingbacks look like. I'm screaming. They are so cute. Oh my god. I love this. I actually, I would never have ever, like, I just, I don't normally like cami tops. I just don't normally think they suit me. I also normally wear them, like, with something that's quite tight at the waist, but I've worn these shorts a little bit more low on the waist and, like, pulled the cami top out a little bit so it kind of sits very soft and slouchy. Again, not something I would normally do. And I actually just love how this works. Okay, so this is 
the final outfit for today what do we think let me know also let me know on the sandals as well but i am actually like so happy with this i i felt like this was going to be one of those outfits that was going to look good on the models and in the screenshots and on the mood board but actually just didn't translate on me but yeah okay Number one, Carla, you have smashed it. So that is what I am wearing this afternoon. I need to pop out now, but before I do, I thought I would just show you my lipstick combo. So in the center of my lips, I have the Lancome Drama Matte Lipstick in 510. So that is just on the center of my lips. It's just like a gorgeous, a gorgeous nude. Like Amelia put me onto it. She said it was the perfect nude, like pinky nude lipstick, and it really really is and then i'm also wearing this one from play de po it's a darker kind of nudie pink and this is in shade 211 influential it's the brilliant shine lipstick so yeah loving those two i will link those down below if you like the look of them good morning everybody so today i have just come back from the hairdressers and so today's outfit i picked because it's nice and casual and really chill and that was literally just what i needed for this morning. Today's look, which I will put the mood board up here, is one that has really inspired me recently. I actually got the mood boards a fair while ago, really, but I've just been so busy, I haven't had the chance to film this video, and I've been waiting for everything to arrive as well, including these trousers, um, which I'll talk to you about in a second, but I thought this look today would be perfect for what I'm doing. But when Carla sent this through, I just kind of got the confidence to give one element in particular a try, which is the jumper over the shoulders kind of thing. Um, and it was something that along with the waistcoat look, which you will see in a bit and which you will have already seen, I took away to the south of France with me and kind of combined the two. I combined like the jumper element of this with the waistcoat and trousers and I love the way it looked, but I equally love this kind of more relaxed way of styling as well. One thing to note with this is that I really like how it looks when I have like my hair curled and I'm a little bit more polished and I like to wear like these sunnies with it as well because it kind of brings a little bit more of a femininity to the look but it equally does look so cool when I'm just like no makeup in with my hair in a bun or a pony it looks a lot more like Scandi and chic in that way I've kept things simple in terms of jewelry I just popped these in after I came back from the hairdressers literally just because they were sat in my car and I didn't want to forget to bring them in but yeah apart from that just keeping things really simple and relaxed and I love it so the top is actually one from Skims that I already had the Skims t-shirts have fast become my favorites they're like boyfriend fit and they are literally the most comfortable thing that I own. I want them in every colour. I'm kind of sad because they're quite often sold out or not sold out but like out of stock. And then the trousers, these are from Adenola and I have been on the hunt for the perfect pair of like casual black trousers and these are amazing. They're like almost a linen kind of feel but I don't think they're linen but they are so nice. They've got like just a fully elasticated waistband so super super comfy. This would be a great airport outfit actually if you aren't going somewhere like that's super hot on the other end. These trousers are incredibly comfy and I've popped them on with my Vaja trainers. I'm actually having a real trainer clear out so um um, yeah, I just decided to keep it simple with a pair of trainers that um, I already have. And then my jumper is this one, which you will have seen many times now uh, from Zara. This is a cashmere one that I bought. I feel like I bought it not last autumn, the autumn before, and it's just been one of the best things that I've ever put in my wardrobe. The one thing I will say is I never tie the sleeves of my jumpers. I just don't do it. I actually just prefer how it looks literally just thrown over. I think it suits me a little bit better. The tie almost makes it slightly too preppy, whereas I think just the throwing it over the shoulders is more minimalist style and more Scandi style than like that kind of classic American preppy look, which a lot of people love and it suits so many people, but sadly does not suit me. So I just like to throw it over the shoulders and I think it looks really cute. Oh my God, you guys must have been screaming at me through your TVs. I'm meant to be wearing ballet flats. I just went to check which bag I was meant to be wearing and realized that I had the wrong shoes. So let's have a look. Oh, let's put the full outfit together actually. Ooh, my hair looks so, I swear it looks blonder after coming out of the hairdressers and having a dye and toner than it did when I went in, that is crazy. This is the look, what do we think? What do we think of the ballet flat? Do we prefer the ballet flat or do we prefer the Vaja trainers? I actually really like the ballet flat to be fair and I would never ever, ever have picked a ballet flat to style this. The more I look at it in the mirror, 
the more I really like it. It kind of feels like it's almost slimming on the leg in a weird way, like I don't feel too bottom heavy like I do when I wear like a rounded, quite chunky trainer. But yeah, that is the outfit. Let me know what you think. Let me know actually which ones of these throughout the video are your favorite in the comments. I would love to know what you are loving. Good morning, everybody. It is very warm today, so I hope you don't mind the sounds of the outside world. It's an all doors and windows open kind of situation. So today's outfit, I will put the mood board inspo to the side of me. I deviated slightly on a couple of items, but only a very tiny amount. This was actually one that I didn't need. Excuse me, there is a plane. Okay, it's going. 75,000 years later. This outfit is actually one that I didn't, to my memory, have to buy anything new for, which is amazing. And it's one that I would never have thought to put together. Like when I saw this on the mood board, I was like, that is an interesting combination. That's not something that I would have thought would work. And when Ryan saw me laying it out on the bed this morning, he was like silently giving it some thought as well. And, but I trusted the process. Carla knows her stuff. She knows me so well as well. And she just knows what's going to work. And yeah, I absolutely love this stuff that I have owned for so long. So these trousers are from Nasty Girl. I got them during lockdown. They come with a matching top, which I love, and you will have seen me wear like countless times, but I will link um, similar pairs of trousers because there are so many out there that are very, very similar to this. The pair that Carla linked on the mood board are so, so similar. The t-shirt is actually just one from ASOS, which I've had for a really long time. If I'm honest, this is clean on. This is clean on, but quite often I just wear this to bed. So it's nice that it's leaving the house today. I'm sure the t-shirt that has absolutely no consciousness will appreciate the leaving the house. Then for the trainers, I actually, like I said, trainer clear out. I don't have my dad trainers now. And to be honest, I found them a bit clunky and hard to walk in. Um, so I've just gone with the Vager trainers, as you will have seen yesterday, because this is the outfit that I got yesterday's outfit mixed up with. And I actually really like it. I think it's cool. And the other thing I deviated slightly on is the bag, just in terms of the color, the one color linked uh, was like a nudie pink, which is super, super pretty. Absolutely loved it. But I knew I had this in my wardrobe and it's obviously so similar. And I had actually been wondering how to get wear out of this on a daily basis. Like I just haven't really worn this other than like for evening. And even then I still don't wear it that much. So I loved like getting a little bit of inspo for wearing this with a daytime outfit. So even though it's not the right color, um, I just really wanted to focus on like getting the most use out of my wardrobe with this exercise as I could. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really happy about this. I love the outfit. It's so fresh and summery and it's so nice like to wear something new and it feels like a whole new outfit to me, but I haven't spent any money. And that is one of the best bits about this when anyone else picks an outfit for you that's completely fresh to you. Even if personal styling or virtual styling isn't really a thing that you wanna like get involved with, you could definitely do this with your friends. Pick your friends whose style you love the most and have them make a set of outfits for you for even just a weekend. I feel like that would be so fun. I really love doing this with Ryan as well. I do this with Ryan a lot where I'll just let him pick my outfits for date night. So yeah, hopefully this gives you a little bit of like inspo to kind of rework your wardrobe. Um, and then finally, in terms of jewelry, I have just got my regular stuff on, which I will leave linked in the info box. I haven't gone for anything different today. Shocking, I know. Oh my God, I do have something different today. I almost completely forgot to show you my new sunnies. I am so happy. I waited for so long for these to come back into stock. Like I kid you not, when I decide that there is something that I am after, I am like a dog with a bone. I will not let it drop and I, could you not? I refresh the Salim website probably every hour on the hour for about 48 to 72 hours. It may have been longer. It may have been longer. It may have been about four days. But I just think they're so cool. They're like this oval shape. I don't really have anything apart from my other Celine Triumph sunglasses. I don't have any oval shaped sunglasses and the other ones are like much more of a 60s style whereas these don't feel these don't feel the same at all even though they're an oval shape and they've got this cool like gold frame and gold like arm to the sunglasses with the Celine logo and I just think they look so like vintage and really fun just like a really nice pair for the summer they really feel like a classic even though to me this is quite a new fresh take on like your classic kind of like Ray-Ban shades so yeah I'm super happy with them 
as soon as I saw these, I literally, I put them immediately in my basket. I also sent the link to Amelia, who I think is getting these as well. I cannot wait to be twinning with her over the summer. I just think they are so fun. What do you think? Anyway, that is the outfit of the day. I'm ready for my lunch meeting. Literally, it's just going to be a whirlwind one today because I need to get back and get so much editing done before this weekend. Oh, my only reservation with this outfit is I don't know like what kind of jacket I will wear with it as we move into cooler days. So I'm going to ask Carla what she would would recommend and I'll pop something on screen here if there's anything that she recommends because I'm not sure what I would want to do would I want to do a lighter jumper I don't know should we try I've got like a cute little cable knit that's new hang on I've still got the tag on this so ignore it but what do we think I don't know I don't know if maybe it would look cuter with like a much lighter jumper or I think my gray one would be too gray I don't know I will pop on screen here what Carla thinks in terms of layering. Just tried it on as well and I don't know, maybe it is cute. What do we think? It's actually, this is actually a cardigan by the way. I've just put it on backwards because um, turning cardigans into jumpers is just life changing. This one doesn't even have a v-neck so it doesn't look that weird that it's like a button up jumper. So yeah, that's probably what I would do if it got a bit chillier. I actually really like this. I think the colors are coming up slightly different on camera but to the eye in real life, they're actually pretty much identical i really like this so yeah this is probably how i would wear the outfit if i got chilly and i'd throw the jumper over my shoulders i have to say i used to think throwing jumpers over the shoulders i was like oh i don't like it why are people doing this ever since i let go of having to look like cool and i just started dressing like just being like i'm just gonna go back to basics timeless things that like look cute on me like i really liked this jumper in particular because it's tighter on the top and um my kind of i've gone back to like a very old school basic formula with outfits of like normally quite like tight on the top looser on the bottom tighter on the bottom looser on the top that kind of vibe um some of the things that carla's been serving me have not been as per that but that's generally day to day what i've been going with ever since i just switched to like more classic styling i've just been enjoying getting dressed so much more i totally am embracing like the jumper over the shoulder i think it works so nicely now i feel like i've just really come into an area of styling and clothing that actually suits me rather than like trying to look cool all the time like that was too stressful on my soul i'm done anyway i'm gonna take the cable knit off now because i am actually sweating because it's not cold it's like 23 degrees and i'm actually going to go now because <laughs> your girl is gonna be late was i supposed to be trying on jumpers no no i wasn't anyway i have to go i will see you tomorrow bye Good morning, everybody. It's very warm today to the point where I have deviated off of Carla's mood board because we just didn't plan for a heat wave when we set out with this little fun video. Um, so I've just, I've gone off piste, I've gone rogue. Um, and I've just thrown on this little white dress. This is from Abercrombie. In hindsight, wish I'd gone for a size down because it's actually like just got quite a lot of excess material. I feel like this could just be giving a little bit more but it's kind of nice for like a warm day because it's just not super tight it also has like these adjustable button fastenings on the straps at the back which i think is great because you can shorten it however it was just super long so i did take it to my tailor who can do like taking things up but sadly not like cinching in sadly although she has just stopped the service at my local place so if anyone has any good tailoring recommendations in the brighton area or surrounding areas will travel will happily travel for a good seamstress please please let me know and i've got my chanel flats on just giving like real super bougie vibes today and then my etsy earrings edge of ember gaia victoria necklace and then my Dior saddlebag. I didn't really know what bag to wear today, so I've just thrown this one on. It was potentially an interesting choice, but I just needed something black and gold uh, to match everything else. Uh, I've also got my Celine Sunnies just on top of my head because I didn't want to mess up my makeup before I went on camera. And yeah, I just need to pop out today, see a few people, do a few bits. I'm going out later this evening, so you will see one of the mood boarded outfits later when it is a little bit cooler. But for now, this is what I am wearing today. Hello everybody. We are out for pizza and drinks this evening. So this is my outfit of the evening. I've got a white lower shirt on, 
lol you can see my squash and crisps that i've been annihilating in the background that pre-socialization snack anyway loewe shirt little bottega belt i can definitely understand why the bigger belt was uh suggested for this look i definitely get it but i like this one i think it's cute it's very minimal and i know i'll get a lot of wear out of this one so carla i hope that's okay i've then got my holland cooper straight leg jeans on with some shoes which are from june very very similar to the ones on the mood board but sadly they don't make these anymore which is a travesty because they were such a steal and such a find because they're basically like a more timeless version of the Bottega ones and I like that they were more simple. My jewellery is the same as usual, it will all be linked below. I've got my Monica Vinida hoop earrings in, Edge of Ember necklace, Celine Sunnies, you know the drill. So that is my outfit of the evening, it's cooled down a little bit now which is great. Good morning everybody, it is very hot today and I am not feeling good so let me tell you I am grateful for today's very comfy outfit. So you will have seen this one before. There's a very aggressive fly in here. Oh my god, go away. Sorry, we're leaving the door open so that the fly might see itself out. You'll probably recognise this one from the south of France. I'll pop the little mood board inspo for this here though because Carla's styling was a little bit different to how I wore it last. The only thing I've actually tweaked is I've just left the buttons open but I'll show you what it looks like with it closed as well. I just kind of liked it and it was a little bit different. But yeah, I've got... Celine Sunnies. The ones linked were different, but I looked at them and I was like immediately thinking I have a pair of sunglasses almost almost ident not quite identical, but like very, very, very similar. And I actually haven't worn them in ages and have been wanting some kind of inspo for an outfit to wear them with. So love the fact that that kind of style was on the mood board. I've got Monica Vinida earrings in. The necklace I think is also Monica Vinida. There was a similar one I believe on the mood board. Then we have my Colt Gaia um, little like raffia bag which I love and then the Zara uh, waistcoat and linen trousers and then I've just got my um, YSL sandals on. I believe the ones on the mood board were the black sandals. Um, I just prefer a closed toe and I'm still not sure on the other black sandals so I've popped my fave YSL ones on because I feel like they go really nicely with the outfit and they're just so comfortable as well so yeah love that I have to say this outfit has been one of my highlights of the entire project I absolutely adore it Carla messaged me before she'd even sent over the final mood board and she was like you need to order these like immediately I think they're gonna sell out really really quickly so like buy them down and out and I did and I'm so glad that I did because I just honestly love them so much i'll pop the sizes in the info box i believe i could have gone smaller if possible on the waistcoat it is quite roomy not super fitted but like i would have preferred a little bit less material around the boob area but yeah that's what it looks like um done up which also just i really love as well it's so funny whenever i do it up i'm like oh no it needs to just have one button and then i do it up again and i'm like oh no it's fine just yo-yoing between the two um but yeah that is the outfit i just this yeah this is one of my favorites from the entire video that is my final outfit of the video i'm so sad this has been the most enjoyable what i wore in a week that i have ever filmed um and i know it's because i haven't overthought anything because someone else has picked it and like signed it off on my behalf whenever i've done what i wore in a week's um i'm always like if it doesn't have a coat i'm like oh my god but it needs a coat and i need to do this and i just super overthink everything and yeah like i never end up actually um editing them and uploading them so it's been lovely to actually just really enjoy a what i wore in a week and i feel like it's just really got me back in the swing of filming these and just getting back into styling outfits i absolutely love this time of year for like styling i'm just much more of a summery style kind of girl even though i feel like everyone really associates me with autumn but like i just love summer summer makes me so happy so yeah that is gonna be oh my god it's so loud but these outfits are going to continue i am off to the south of france next week so there's gonna be a lot more outfits to come so stay tuned for that and i'll be showing you everything that i bought for my holiday i'm so so excited to get trying everything on i honestly can't wait to show you everything and just take you along with us oh it's just gonna be the best like i already just know it's gonna be the best but i hope you've enjoyed this video i'll leave everything i wore linked down below in the info box but until next time love you bye